certification in a learning and training environment can be really, really powerful. As children, we learn through gameplay. We explore our environment and we touch things, we, we play games, we're given toys. And this is how we learn. Uh, we have the concept of educational toys. But the reality is it's still gameplay. We learn about our environment through the, ga the state or the, through the gameplay that we have, either on our own or with others. As adults, we tend to sort of forget this and we don't, we haven't been as good at using gameplay to actually uh, learn new concepts and go forward in what we're doing. The thing is, that's a shame because gamification can be such a powerful tool in our learning, you know, in when we're teaching people and when we're learning. Isn't it, wouldn't it be more fun to be experiencing um, a fun and challenging game and learning through that fun and challenging game than being spoken at, being in a one hour lecture or having to read a lot of book, um, a book or a content to get our information. Our mind tends to wander. But when we're engaged with the, with the game, we don't even know that we're actually learning. We get immersed in the experience and that can have huge benefits to us in the retention of that information that we're being learning, but it can also improve the whole overall experience. So gameplay can also result in behavioral changes. So it's much easier to be able to get uh, someone to, to, to learn a new concept if they're actually engaged with the process. And a really quick and easy way to do that is to actually have them involved in some sort of game. In a training environment, for instance, you can do gameplay on either an individual basis or you can incorporate cooperative play between members of the same group. So cooperative play can actually help to strengthen bonds within a team if, they're, if it's a workplace learning or workplace training. And it can also help to for the team itself to be able to learn complex concepts that they can use to be able to solve complex problems as a team. So game, gamification in the learning environment can actually help you to get higher levels of engagement with your students, make it fun, and the students will retain a significant more uh, information then we'll be in just a straightforward uh, process of passing on that information either through you talking to them or them having to read it. So consider game some gamification elements such as incentivizing them with rewards for meet, re reaching particular points. Um, other techniques that you can do are things like giving them something that they actually have to check off. So an example being, you might be having a course and once they get to a particular milestone, they could publish that they've met this particular milestone. That can be the reward in say a Facebook group. So now they're getting recognition and reward, which can strengthen their, in or incentivize them to actually continue to do that learning because they want to achieve that reward. Things like um, points, um, being a, um, a given a points as they actually go up a ladder of learning can help them to be able to track where they are and provide instant feedback on how well they're doing. These are all tools that actually can help you be able to make your training significantly more engaging and more fun for your students. So the next, call, the next particular video is going to be on about using gamification in marketing. So what I'd like to hear from you is what kind of things have, or have you considered using or are using gamification in your learning environment? Just pop them down in the, the comments below. I'd love to hear some of the things that you have been doing to make your training sessions and, uh, more fun and more engaging. Until next time, 
talk to you soon.